Welcome to the Nightly Crypto Report, and today is April 3rd, 2022. I don't have a whole lot tonight for you, so this will be a quick one. And we have Bitcoin at 46,000. Ethereum is almost at 3,500. And a little bit of red on the screen, but hey, you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. Well, look at this. Average Ethereum gas fee jumps to $20 per transfer. L2 fees follow L2 fees follow the rise also. So let's see. Um, in mid-March, uh, fees were a lot less, but they started to rise. But I just wanted to say that what's been going on the past few months is that we've been kind of like not really buying too much crypto. So when there's low demand, guess what? The fees, the fees drop. So now that the fees are starting to go up. Well, crypto is getting more and more in demand. So that's a that's the way to look at it, in my opinion. All right. Um, an in-depth look look at the five most profitable board ape NFT traders of all time. I won't dig into it too much, but I really didn't know how much these things were worth. So NFTs have been extremely popular during the last two years. And in recent times, specific NFTs from certain collections sell for hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars per NFT. NFT, oh my goodness, NFT, it's like a, a photograph, say, a picture, an image that's stored on the blockchain. Kind of like a crypto or, you know, it's, it's, it's unique. It's, it's one NFT. So during the last 30 days, Board Ape Yacht Club NFT saw $257 million in sales volume. $257 million in sales volume. Well, while some people question the value of NFTs, it's also interesting to see who is purchasing the most expensive NFTs like Board Apes and trading them regularly. The following is an in-depth look at the top five Board Ape Yacht Club, Club traders of all time and the millions of dollars in profits they have made. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> five more. Okay. Here's the five most profitable traders. I'm not really going to get into this, but some of the traders make like four or five million dollars. Uh, this guy's portfolio is worth uh, almost 10 million. This is incredible. Okay. The most expensive Board Ape. Board Ape Yacht Club ever sold. Okay, of the five, of the five. Okay, all five, all five of these traders have made over twenty-one million dollars in profits from ninety-nine Board Ape trades. Twenty-one million profit over ninety-nine trades. Oh my goodness! The most expensive sold for two point nine million. Two point nine million dollars. Crazy. Okay, I got to get out of this. <laughs> I'm starting to get bored here. All right. Let's look at this. Meta F1 Club is blowing up the NFT market with a unique collection. Yeah, F1 race cars. I think these are going to be awesome. Not these the NFTs are going to be like splendid according to this article. And I do believe that they're going to start. There's going to be it's a collection of, of 10,250 ultra unique racing masterpieces that are inspired by F1. So get ready to experience different kinds of metaverse realities with Meta F1 Club. So uh, the Meta F1 Club presale starts April 19th and priced at 0.35 Ether. So can we say that's just over a thousand US dollars? And they think that the price is going to jump. So I saw that somewhere. Oh, now I can't find it. Floor expectations are around 16 ETH in the short time due to uniqueness of this project. 16 ETH, oh my gosh, that's a lot. 16 times $3,500, that's a lot of money for an NFT, wild. Now, the central land, the sandbox, look poised to soar, according to this article. So, Decentraland continues to trade around its resistance level. The sandbox appears to have broken out without bullish continuation. Without. But both, both of them are awaiting a spike in buy orders to advance further. I just did a little video on me jumping into the metaver metaverse in Decentraland and visiting 
the Atari Casino, which is still, I'm going to call it under, under construction. So about a three minute video. If you guys want to check that out, I actually, I actually went into the metaverse for the first time. Crypto housewife, I even have an avatar. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Hey, okay. Um, we'll skip this now. Where was this? Okay. 86 billion SHIB, SHIBA Inu, shoveled up by third largest wallet on Ethereum. Oh, I'm telling you, those whales, those whales like to shop and they don't like to make waves when they buy. It barely even made the price go up into SHIB. They kind of nibble. They, they don't want to, uh, cause ripples. Let's just say and make price spikes. I don't know how they do it, but um they do it somehow so the, the wallet which currently holds about 3.5 billion dollars in various digital assets made a large purchase of shiba inu and let's see and it didn't even help the price the price of ship to go up incredible so um despite purchasing a large amount of tokens shiba inu is not the biggest holding on the address according to whale stat wallet page the biggest holding on the wallet is american born doge token american born born doge token the address currently holds 1.8 billion worth of us doge so that's not doge coin i don't believe american born doge so second place on the wallet is pax g so that's Pax Gold. It's like digital gold. That's pretty interesting if you want to check that out. Not financial advice, but just interesting to see. Uh, they're, I think they're, they actually hold gold and then they have their crypto. Pretty neat stuff. Pretty neat, neat stuff. So uh, what else? So Shiba Inu in the market. Okay, so despite a series of large purchases by well, whales in the last month, Shiba Inu's price momentum slowed down after reaching 0. 0.000027, the highest point reached by the token in March was 29, which was considered a strong psychological resistance as a, as a token had already failed to break through in the beginning of the month. Okay, let's eyeball ships chart. This is a day chart, so one candle equals one day. And as we see, uh, volume is tapering a little bit going down. I'd like to see more volume. But what I do see, though, let's see, let's see. The, I want to see the EMAs stacked positively and they are not although this red line here see basically i want to see the red line on the top and then followed by the green line below it see they're inverted so it's stacked negatively i want to see it stacked positively if it's stacked positively i'll show you an example when it's stacked positive this is something here we go see that stacked positive red green then magenta instead of negative where the red's at the bottom, then the green, then the magenta. Okay, so this is stack positive. That's the that's the first thing that we have to create in order to get this to go on an upward tear. And we're we're getting we're we're getting somewhere now. See how it was stacked negative, like the red right down here. Then it crossed the green, crossed the magenta, and now the green is pulling up too. So we'll see, we'll see. None of this financial advice and. It is hard to read charts, uh, read crypto charts. Crypto doesn't, doesn't, it's not as, I'm going to say predictable when you read the chart as stocks are. And that's about all I can say about it. Crypto is very catalyst driven. A lot of hype, a lot of promises, a lot of future projects uh, that can get people to FOMO in and then boom, it just pumps or dumps. So it, it's it's tricky so i'm using you know traditional stock trading <laughs> technical analysis to uh, try to predict what's going to happen or try to at least see what is going on now with crypto on a in a particular you know crypto asset like shiba inu so like i said i all i take i take the charts with a grain of salt when it comes to crypto but I just do the best that I can because I can't help myself. I, I love crypto and I love looking at the charts and I love trying to figure out where they are going. So big whales, they are probably they're they're up to something. They're going shopping and they're they're aping into Shiba Inu. And I can't really blame them. I do hold SHIB and I like Shiba Inu. And I just, you know, hope that they that they continue because uh we've hit support. And like I said, they're tr we're trying to break through the 29 about here, this line here. 
and if we can do that well <laughs> and also if bitcoin good old bitcoin and ethereum can go up let's see bitcoin see we're starting to come out of it like we were you know really downtrending and then up a little bit up a little bit and now getting up a little higher or higher than here so who knows and i saw an article tonight or was it a youtube video saying uh, during the month of april traditionally bitcoin spikes on average upwards by 20 percent so every april on average it hit 20 percent. so there was a lot of 30 percent and some there were a couple aprils which only had like couple percent so they average it to like 30 percent so can history repeat itself for april i hope so it'd be nice to see a 30 percent spike in good old bitcoin and then everything else will follow so again not financial advice i'm just telling you what the average was in the past and trying to hope that it happens again so uh, uh fraud scams dogecoin knockoff ends up being a scam all right so According to the data provided by blockchain security form, Pexshield, Doge Mother, one of the countless Dogecoin offshoots, is actually a scam. So Doge Mother, yes, I think it was a honeypot. So it was based on the BNB chain and it collapsed by 91%. So a pump up and it dumped. So let's see ironically uh, doge mother was pitched as by its developers as being the most caring new coin that was unruggable unruggable it had a total top supply of only a million tokens um let's see people were promised to receive guaranteed rewards for purchasing the token oh my gosh however it had many red flags on its official website it misleadingly claimed that one would be able to buy his or her mom a Lambo with the profits made from investing. A, profit, a, prof, a promise that is typically made by scammers. Can you believe that? I'm like, oh my gosh. The Telegram channel of the token is no longer available after the apparent rug pull. Well, honeypot scams. Honeypot scams typically typically cajole users into buying a certain cryptocurrency with big promises only to prevent them from selling. Now that's a that's a pretty pretty horrible thing. Honeypot scams. Once you're in, you can't get out. You're, you something happens so that you cannot sell. As the name of the sham suggests, the withdrawals get stuck in a contract since only whitelisted users are allowed to withdraw their funds. Can you imagine? They don't tell you that before you buy in. Most of such tokens typically appear, appear on the BNB chain, which allows easily creating new tokens because of cheap fees. And if you think it's hard to create a token, let me tell you, it's not. I looked into it on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, no, actually on the Binance blockchain. And little old me, if I wanted to, I could sit here and hammer out a token and it wouldn't cost me all that much. And just watching a few YouTube videos is what I did to see how it was done so I can understand, you know, how how easy it is to make a BNB token. Um, I had to know. I just had to know. And that's why these things are, are, are they're, they're, well, I won't say they're everywhere, but it's easy to create a scam token and put it out there on a website and say you have a white paper and then, you know, promote it. And then a BNB it would be traded on like PancakeSwap. So, or probably right off their website <laughs> and it would be up, up in a flash. And then uh, it will dump like probably minutes after hours after on the same day. Incredible how how easy it is to, to create a scam token. I never did create a token, but I had to know how how that was done. Now, when I say a token, now that's much different than creating a coin, a like a layer one blockchain. Now that you know, you got developers still working years on these things, years, and um, yeah. So that's that. Well, in a nutshell, just you know, be be careful, honeypot scams, people making big big promises and other people getting in and then not being able to get out oh my goodness my goodness 
you know, it, it's out there, folks. It's out there. Okay, block ape scissors. I was looking at stuff that ran up to date on Coin Gecko, and I go down to the bottom, and I just, I just look at what's trending, and just, I just eyeball them. And you gotta be careful with these things. Uh, FOMO kicks in. People jump in at a high, and and then it just, you know, pulls back in. It pulls back in. They hold, and then they're then they're mad down here because they didn't get out. And so you got to be careful about fomo weaning. And I just want to check out this because I know a little bit about block ape scissors. Okay, so let's see where they are. Okay, they're up 95%. That's why I hit the hit the old circuit breaker down there. And so that's a major pump for that that one. So BNB. Okay, and 100 billion circulation. So yeah, let's just see. So that's the max. They started in August 2021, roughly, or July. And then let's see, past seven days. So roughly 20, let's say a quarter, 25 cents. And then it just went shooting up to 87 cents and it's pulling back in. So on 24 hours. So yeah, it had a really good run up there. So that, that's what made the 95% the jump. So oh my gosh, that's huge. That's pulling back in, so be be careful with what goes up fast can come down even faster. So block ape scissors is right here. I know a little bit about these guys because of a, a token that I'm into, and so that's block ape scissors website and their Twitter. Something big is coming in ape real ape real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, here they made it on coin market cap biggest gainers today. Congratulations. Okay, and uh, why I know about these guys is because a token that I'm into, it's a high risk, high risk play, and I've been watching this for months, Mononoke Inu, and I'm really kind of tired of watching it to be honest. And it it's not really going anywhere now. It's been going sideways and down for quite some time. But they um apparently Block Ape Scissors, who we were just looking at, is proud to welcome Mononoke Inu into Block Ape Scissors Metaverse. Uh, more details about this partnership will be revealed soon. So this was in February, and I heard only a little bit more about it. They, they just don't tell enough to their... Uh, Mononoke Inu just doesn't say much about what's going on with their projects, which makes me, I gotta be honest, suspicious. And... But the, something was supposed to or is supposed to be going on with Block Ape Scissors. So we'll see what happens. Um, I hope something happens because I'm getting kind of kind of tired on this one. But like I said, that's why you have to be cautious. This one of you is um, at the beginning of something or at the end of something. I can't tell anymore. So we'll see what happens. And that's how I know about Block Ape Scissors and Mononoke Inu. So... Yes, so that's about all I have for tonight. Um, tomorrow is a new day. None of this is financial advice, and we'll see what happens this week with the stock stock market and the crypto markets. And if you guys could please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I have more videos released, I'd appreciate it. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.